uh, last year we had that happen again where Noel was in a different era. We felt like Noel was completely different from everyone else. Boomy, completely different from everyone else. Now, Sandstorm and Boomy are uh, these two players that everyone else just struggled to beat. We see them time and time again in this top three, top two, and their teammates. At yeah, this, this point, is basically it's, it's just prime. this is like taking some of the best two players in the world and just mashing them together, and they just gel so perfectly as a two v two team. Uh, but Boomy has struggled against Sandstorm in ones. Boomy got three owed by Sandstorm. That's who put yeah. him into the losers bracket. He's not playing the Orion anymore. No, nope. he's going with the Knicks pick. Yep, I'm so happy he's doing that. I want to see Boomy truly just try his best on what he has practiced the most. Because um, uh, maybe the Orion was practiced a lot more than I thought. Who knows? Um, Boomy, so far, just using signatures in the same way Sasson would use signatures, just tossing them out. Man, this is such an incredible match so far. Both players playing incredibly high level Brawlhalla. Now, it's interesting. I think this might be one of the first times we've seen Boomy go Scythe against Sandstorm. Because at final round, he played Diana, right? Yep. Yep. And then at BCX, he didn't play Scythe then. Nope. He was saying Boomy. Scythe was very good, like mm -hmm. vocally, publicly on like Twitter and things like that, but he wasn't playing Scythe. Now that he's playing Scythe, I don't know if we've seen these two come up against each other with a Scythe focus coming from the side of Boomy. I love that from Boomy. The fact that he says Scythe is the strongest and he believes that, but he didn't feel like you should use it for b Scythe because the what he had practiced more for uh, the entire year was different characters. But now b Scythe is over. He worked hard on the Scythe, and now he's finally showing that he wants to play Scythe uh, against Sandstorm Scythe. Um, it's not to say that Scythe is the absolute best weapon in the game, but uh, if a player believes that a weapon is strong, you should try to at least attempt playing, and that's what Boomy is doing right now. He is in the lead against Sandstorm. Sandstorm Orange on a second side, but Sandstorm in Sandstorm fashion every time. He's behind. He gets one hit into a read, into a white to orange or even potential kill. Ooh, wow. goes for the Nair. Boomy, Doesn't get the second one but it's still a nice amount of damage. Has Sandstorm almost in kill percent. That side air procced him from orange to red, almost tries to get the down air, looking for maybe a little bit of a spike there. Sandstorm's gonna get back. Boomy being very careful on how he wants oh, to initiate. Look at There's that. the recovery, picking that up raw on a grounded opponent. It's not easy to do. That's why you don't see it from many Blasters it, players. It, Only the best. I agree with you, but it was, oh my, okay. But it wasn't actually that as as uh, just out of the out of the gate as you thought. He sidelights, instantly jumps, which made Sandstorm dodge into him. The sidelight forced Sandstorm uh, to dodge into him, and he already set up for a scenario. He was way way earlier on that than you think. That was a complete deliberate play from Boomy's part. However, Sandstorm equaling it up. Uh, still in the orange, Boomy has that sense of lead. I love the Nyx pick so far, man. It is doing wonders. Scythe is one of the absolute best counters to Scythe because you can't gimp Scythe as easily as other weapons because you can get pulled back at any time. And Boomy has shown time and time again that he's one of the best guns players, if not the absolute best. Wow. So this works perfectly. Look at this, Sparky, look at it. This is amazing from Boomy. This is the first time I think we've ever seen him have a lead, period, against Sandstorm like this, but we could see him turn it around. Almost picked up that ground pound. Down air. Ooh, that down air is almost going recovery? to do it. Not quite. Sarah, Sandstorm saved it. his recovery for the longest time, but Boomy's able to get the kill moving into game two. Yep. But this could be a repeat of what we saw at final round. He almost was able to take it out, but he has to go through two best of fives in order to win this against Sandstorm. It's that is Sandstorm's reward journey. for not going down into the loser's bracket. He only has to win one best of five. Yep, it's great that you touched upon that because even if Boomy takes down Sandstorm on this, he might have to play against the Mordex. And he has to potentially play another best of five set. That is now, statistically, so much. Statistically, because it's so much in the past, we I mean, we've seen bracket res resets. We see him... Uh, not infrequently, but not all the time. We see them somewhat, you know? And every time we see it, it's almost always the winner's bracket player. Even after the reset, still comes out on top. Mm -hmm. The journey is long, but Boomy is playing his heart out so far and doing his best. I love this. It's, it's just pride, these two are teammates. It's just, honestly, just prize money and pride. That's it. Sandstorm taking, I mean, Boomy taking the first eye again, just like last game, Boomy in the lead again against Sandstorm's fate. 
doing such a, such a good job on this Nick so far. His Scythe is doing wonders. His Guns is doing wonders. Sandstorm is the one being pushed back by a Scythe. Now, the big question is, if Sandstorm decides him back. to switch to more decks, will he switch before or after no. the bracket reset? Did you see Boomy hitting that side light above the ledge, but still being on the wall? Yep. I have never seen that before. Okay, Boomy has no recovery here. That's positioning, man. Stay Ooh. Right, that's gonna be it. I love how he still goes for it. Cause there is actually a world where Sandstorm goes a bit too crazy and he gets a hit off from something. It can happen. It's better to do that than just jumping off. If it's somewhat close. Wow, Sandstorm just getting one string and then pulling it as far as possible. But Boomy has been doing the same on the other end. Oh, tries to go for reverse. Recovery, Sandstorm this hits him. Bad. He's okay. able to get back. You didn't see the immediate ground pound or anything like that from Sandstorm. It's and he's evened it up. What? Why did that he send like that? He hit with the bottom side of that? Does it does it does it send that way if it hits from the I learned something new, Sparky. I guess it does. <laughs> that's actually great. Yeah, oh wait. That's a minute. great for Sandstorm. He has the lead now. He's midway through his second stock. Boomy's on his final stock. Tries to go for the wave. You're sick? Uh, yes. Oh! Gets he's stuffed dead. out oh, with it down Sandstorm there. Him. He was dead. That recovery actually saved Boomy. I love how the moment I saw Boomy uh, move in the time that he did, the new stick was aimed at- what, oh, what is Boomy doing? What uh, was that down signature? That had to be a misinput. It's kind of weird. Oh, he's dead. I wonder, Boomy, if, I wonder if that was, one, a directional dodge gravity cancel that he didn't mean to do, or if he did it the wrong way and meant to do it to the left, because that would definitely make more sense. I think that was a misinput there from Boomy. Mm -hmm. Or he was just going for a real strange read. Um, maybe it's lag, maybe not. Uh, we'll we'll just take it as a miss input. If yeah, we'll just take it as a miss input, probably. Um, anyways, we are going to game three of this set. Boomy with one game, Sanson with one game. However, Boomy does have to win this entire set into another set because of Sanson's privilege of being in the upper side of the bracket. And that is a very big privilege indeed, playing so many games. Now, in this case, Boomy didn't have like the longest loser's bracket run. Oh, that look what he, he had to go what? through. What? What a is down he air. He's dead. <laughs> what? Uh. Boomy's ability to turn situations like that around, like we've seen him do that multiple times today. Multiple times against Phazon alone. Now we see it against Sandstorm as well. Like Boomy's, Boomy's mental in kind of figuring out where everyone is positioned, even when he's off screen and you mm -hmm. don't know exactly where you are, his ability of like spatial reasoning is insane. The way I think about it is like a, it's like a code or a program where it's just pretty much in, in Boomy and like any time some sort of reverse scenario happens, the program activates and takes over. It just takes over Boomy's soul and it's like, oh, execute, dead. He turns into Boombot 5000. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Anyways, Boomy with that incredible lead because of that strange event. Sandstorm had the most crazy, weird weapon throw into weapon throw. Oh wow, Boomy with two sides. Weapon throw into weapon throw uh, attack. Uh, and that carried him all the way off stage, but he went too deep and that just reversed it on him. However, it is an, a straight one stock lead. He is on white. This is a, such a, such a, such a good position for Boomy to be in. Ooh. There's that dare follow up again. Yep. Sandstorm's done that multiple times now, and he's hit it almost every single time. It feels like Sandstorm evolving with his orb <laughs> as the set are going on. I wasn't seeing these things from Sandstorm earlier. And we aren't seeing as many signatures as mm -hmm. we saw from him earlier either. Probably because he, he knows that Boomy is more proficient at doing it. He gets less stressed out against him yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of the players will struggle to... with that. Boomy knows how to dodge better. He also knows how to punish yeah. better. He's punished he's that so down fast. signature twice now. Satellite tries to go for the down light. Oh boy. Oh, he's dead if he doesn't. Oh, no. Yeah, he's dead. He, yeah, he didn't touch there. Yeah. Sandstorm uh, stole him away from the wall at the last possible moment and basically even between these two players. Mm -hmm. Sandstorm throws away his scythe, tries to go pick up that orb, but it ended up despawning. He is able to pick up the next weapon spawn and Boomy's able to get one quickly as well. That's one thing that Boomy does a lot. It's that he doesn't A, early recovery or B, uh, he, go, he, he goes um, 
He doesn't do the early just light attacks instead and saving his recovery. Because if you do an early recovery, you will be able to make it back. Uh, but the issue is he does like uh, an attack into another attack and then does the recovery, which is an all in commit commitment option. And it makes it close to impossible to make it back. Uh, it's something that I've seen Boomy do a lot of times on this side. Something Sansa doesn't do almost at all. That just brought Boomy into red. Yep. And it's Sandstorm even. has him on the edge. This should not be even. This might be. Yeah, it's potentially... dead even. Ooh, spot dodges that. That's what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. There's a sig. Oh, dancing. Okay. Sandstorm dancing right here, probably going for that quick option. No, he doesn't do signatures. You're right. That's kind of weird though, because of how strong face signatures are, you would want to use them still. Yeah. Like that, that down signature is still really, really yeah, good. Yeah, but that's going to be a wow, silent. Wow. Recovery? Is that a thing? Was that the even optimal though... play? Was that what would have gone? Did, would silent not have killed? I genuinely wonder if silent chose so that. You mean silent there? Option. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because they were in the middle of the platform. I'm not sure if that was the best option there. Uh, Sandstorm knew it was going to kill regardless, though, which is why he went for that one over Sidelight Sarah. That's kind of cute. Three, two, one, roll. And we're seeing we're seeing Boomy. Yep. Fate. Switch. He's going to go with a Fate Mirror. Showing that uh, in terms of Brahalo winnings, he is the richer player here, which is why he has <laughs> the Enchantress Epic skin. Yep, shout out to Boomy, supporting, supporting the people that feed him. <laughs> supporting the arts. <laughs> He's a patron of the arts. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's the signature wow. that kill. He was an orange. He charged a dancing on Boomy spot that. Boomy spot that finishes and then he releases it. He's like, you're dead. It's like he was wrapping it up while he was in that dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, side light on that dodge. If he had actually laid out barely, he would have gotten that. He still has his recovery. Wow, avoids it. Doesn't touch. No. What, what even happened? Anyways, it's close to equal again. He's going with the weapon right now. Sandstorm at a little bit of a disadvantage. That weapon spawn coming in. He's able to pick up the orb very quickly. You see the weapon toss into the turnaround. Neutral light. Oh, wow. Nice string coming out from Boomy. He's continuing oh, it. Oh. And it's Boomy, even. We are man. dead even again. You can clearly see that Sansom is his teammate because Boomy does a lot of what Sansom does, but in his own slight of sense, he kind of does. Oh wow! How far down is he? What? I mean, it's Boomy. You know, he will he will go off stage, off screen, even just like by choice. Like nobody sends him there. He will choose to go there. Sparky, just a few frames missing that jump would have actually gotten him killed. Yeah, he would have been down. dead. That was actually so close to the bottom. I wish we had some way of like actually knowing exactly how close. Oh! Wow! Off of the weapon. Do you think that was true? That From probably the was toss, true. I, I, yeah, that was absolutely because, true. Yeah, it didn't instantly hit him. It was like it, traveling. Well. Oh wow! That is actually such a clean option coming out from Boomy right there. Equaling it up. But we did see this. Boomy was in the biggest lead last game and he lost it. Sandstorm is so, so good at equaling up kills and then just running with it. This might be potentially Boomy's last tournament stock if he does not take this match. It's up 2-1 right now with Sandstorm in the lead. Both players have Orb in their hands. We haven't seen too much of Orb from Boomy. He's, he has the Dobrain school of thought. You see him throwing out those down airs. And if Sandstorm wants to approach, you're going to see him follow that up with a side air. Oh wow, what is that Ooh. down there side here? These options. Sandstorm finally doing options that he that I, that I truly wish I saw earlier from him. I am actually shocked by these things. What? I have no words, Sparky. Boomy's orb is dirty. Sandstorm's orb is dirty. Both of their sights <laughs> are dirty. Sandstorm swimming. This is going to be anyone's game. One more of those will be at the end of it. Boomy has Scythe now, though. He's got to be careful. You don't see the offstage from Sandstorm, even though Boomy's character was grayed out, so he didn't have any movement options mm -hmm. to sidestick. Immediately getting punished. That's the down air. Is... Boomy was looking for the nair. Down air. Oh, they're so close right now, but Boomy's a little bit behind in terms of damage. There's the unarmed recovery. Not going to kill. Oh, Sider. One more of those will be the end of him. What is the option? Fall down Sandstorm down putting so much yeah. respect. That's going to be it. Sandstorm taking it. No bracket reset. Back-to-back -to -back tournament wins. Won at final round on land. Now in March of Legends, North America.